Thank you for turning to 10. From WJAR, this is News Channel 10 at 6. I say end it! End it all! Daniel Gesser, a sleazy lawyer fed up with his job, wife, and life, puts a gun to his head, but you don't see him kill himself. His wife left guessing. He was in my apartment. He left while I was sleeping. When I woke up, he was gone, and this was on my dresser. Daniel Gesser, or maybe his soul, sets off to find enlightenment. He meets troubled people along the way. And when he does, he tries to show them the real importance of life. In this movie scene, he shows a bigot just how senseless bigotry is. What if you were dying? You needed a liver, and the only liver in the entire world that your body would accept came from a black man. Would you accept it and live, or reject it because you think it's inferior and die? Daniel Gesser is played by the movie's director and writer, Dan Copeland. His inspiration for the film comes in part from his own practice of Buddhism. There, particularly Buddhism believes that every, everybody has this enlightenment in them, that they're born with it, and all they have to do is awaken to it. This is Copeland's first stab at directing after acting and writing for years. So what's it like to direct other actors? Actors are like instruments, and every actor is a different instrument, and sometimes you know how to play the instrument, and sometimes you don't. Daniel Gesser's wife sets out to find her husband, and on her journey, she meets the people he's touched and changed for the better. And then she makes a startling discovery. Dan Copeland's Echoes of Enlightenment makes its world debut at the Rhode Island International Film Festival here at the Columbus Theater in Providence tonight. So if you want to find out what happens to his mysterious character, Daniel Gesser, you'll just have to come here to the theater to find him. Or maybe just find his soul. In Providence, I'm Jim Cherokee, News Channel 10. Echoes is not your standard Hollywood movie. It's not chapter after chapter. You can't predict how it's going to end. You can't predict anything about it. And that draws you right in like, oh, what's going to happen now, you know? I have seen Echoes of Enlightenment, I would say about four or five times. I read the script. I love the story. I was, I was impressed. I was really impressed. Call it the ultimate uh, mystery, the ultimate whodunit, because you don't know, you never guess what's really going to happen because it's all totally unexpected. It's all totally unpredictable. It speaks to where so many of us are in our lives. You, you move through a sense of uh, hope. I've made new discoveries about the film uh, with uh, each time I've seen it. And I can come up with a conclusion. The guy next to me in the, watching the movie can come up with another conclusion. Someone else can, can come up with five different conclusions about this film, and each one of them are right. And I, I think it definitely moved people, and as a filmmaker, that's what I want to do. Go see the film. You get so tired of going to the multiplex and seeing the same formula pictures, you know, the same things by the numbers. Everybody, go see this movie. <laughs>
Where does the end begin? Where does the beginning end? it came out so great and I always thought it would be good but wow the fact that his life was touched and that whatever Daniel was able to give him in just that momentary you know chance meeting inter encounter is enough I think the biggest surprise was that uh, it's so it's full of humor 